I've got a birthday coming up in a couple of days, and every year at this time, I take a day off from work to go fishing. One day, just to go out and be on the water and enjoy God's creation and catch some fish. And I like to do it during the week when nobody else is out there fishing and just really enjoy it. I think that's important for all of us to do something we enjoy on our birthday. It's a reminder to stop and smell the roses because we've only got so many birthdays. Okay, and I put in for my vacation day this year. It's today. I was off work today. I had the boat ready to go and was ready to get out there. And, but I couldn't do it. I just, I've got too much work to do on the house here, so I ended up coming here and I worked hard today. I put in a long one today and we got a lot accomplished and I've almost got it dried in. If I'm really lucky, get a really good day in tomorrow, it will be dried in. Okay, and this is weighing on me heavily with the house and it's not because I'm in a, a hurry to get this done. I'm actually enjoying the process of building this. It's, I think, the bottom's about to fall out of the economy. It is any day now. Now, I've thought that for a while, so just because I think it does not mean it's going to happen. Okay. But I, I'm old-fashioned. I believe in certain basic principles. I don't think an individual, a corporation, or a country can, can, can continue to just spend more than it produces, than it earns. I think eventually that's got to be a problem. Yeah, I think if countries just keep printing up money, eventually that's going to be a problem with inflation. I, I, and then you know, going even further, the types of companies. What countries are producing? Okay, look at some of the highest valued corporations in the U.S. right now. Facebook. What does Facebook produce? Mistrust? Um, discontent? <laughs> I don't see much value in, those, in that particular product. Okay, so I think there's some really bad, it, fundamental problems with our economy right now, and I think just any minute the music's gonna stop and we're gonna see who's left without a chair. And someone I follow regularly that I really enjoy his insights is Dave Collum, and I've mentioned him before. And I'll leave a link below in the description to a podcast I just saw where he was being interviewed. And Dave doesn't have his own channel. Just all sorts of various uh, financial type people interview him on their podcast, and he enjoys doing the, the interviews just he enjoys conversations. He enjoys having his ideas challenged because he's very old fashioned in his thoughts also. And he's predicting essentially a 30 or 40 year recession, depression coming up. I mean, there'll be some good times in that, but for the most part with the stock market, he's predicting an uninvestable market for the next 30 or 40 years. Okay, and he said something that I really liked that or it stuck with me anyway. He said a correction in the stock market it isn't that the stock market just went back a little bit and you know the value was less or, or whatever. A correction, an actual correction, is a correction in attitudes. And that's what the Great Depression was. It was a correction in attitudes from the excesses of the 1920s. So everybody in the 1920s was just borrowing money in debt, not investing wisely, not using their money in productive ways, and the stock market had become essentially just a Ponzi scheme. Okay, well that just sounds an awful lot like where we are where we are now, except for they weren't 34 trillion dollars in debt, U.S. government, in the 1920s. Okay, they are right now. Okay, so I think, yeah, this is, we'll see how this plays out. Okay, but for myself, this is exactly, I think, what he meant by correction in attitudes. It's 
it would have been so easy for me to say, you know, I deserve my day on the lake to go fishing. I, I've worked hard. I lived another year. I survived it. I deserve a day on the lake. The thing is, I don't. Okay, just the fact that I am fortunate enough to be able to go out and just spend a day on the water chasing fish, that's a, that's a privilege. It's not something I deserve. It's just something I'm thankful to have on occasion. And I've always said, fishing's like golf. Life is good when we don't have anything to do but go chase a fish around the lake or chase a little white ball around the field. Well, we've got so many now that they're not interested in being productive and they are so far in debt because they are spending so much more than they earn and We've lost all concept of wealth creation. Okay, building this house here, that's what this is. This is wealth creation. There was nothing here. I don't know, a couple months ago, I did have the footers two and a half months ago. And now there's, I've got a partial house, or the addition here anyway. Okay, over there's the existing house. All right, I'm creating something of value that did not exist previously. And that's what so many of us do in manufacturing jobs, but our economy now is service-based. We're not actually producing an actual good. A, a service is, I mean, once we use the service, that's it. It's, it has no value after that. Oh, I'm sure there's exceptions to it, but Okay, well, I think we actually have to make things to create things of value. I think that's really important as far as for GDP, our gross domestic product. And that's basically how much our economy's worth. Okay, that's all the things of value created within the country. Well, Facebook greatly contributes to our GDP because it makes a lot of money. Does Facebook actually create anything of value? Or does it just create discontent, <laughs> animosity, <laughs> bad feelings, and a lot of drama? All in an effort to try to sell us stuff from countries that, like China that do actually make things? Okay, would our country be better off, or excuse me, would our country be better off without Facebook? And that's an analogy I heard Dave use before I thought was really good. I think our country, I think most of us would be better off without Facebook. So it adds greatly to, the, to our GDP, to what the, our economy, but does it add any value to our lives? And, okay, so Keeping that in mind on, on the correction. If we do go into, you know, bottom falls out. How would you change your attitude about things? Okay, and then would it not be better to go on and make some changes now? If you think this is the direction things are going. All right, anyway, that's just something that was really weighing on me today. And, yeah, I'm tired now from having worked all day. I do not regret in the least of not having gone fishing in this morning. I, I made a lot of progress. I'm, this is almost dried in now. If I can have a really good day tomorrow, it will be, and I am going to find out. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. God bless, and have a great day.